Hey everybody, today on Henry Tattoos, I'm going to show you how to make Persian Kabob Tabayi. Let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing we want to do is get one brown onion, and we just want to grate it on the coarse side. Once your onion's grated, we just want to push it, because we want to try and release all the juice. Because we need to strain it. Once you've gotten most of the juice out from your onions, what we're going to do is add in a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of sumac, one teaspoon of saffron water, and finally one teaspoon of ground turmeric. Now give this all a good mix. So we're going to set that to the side now, and what I've got here is half a kilo of ground beef mince. Now this can also be done with lamb mince, so that just comes down to you. And we're going to put our onion mixture straight in. Now just in case you are wondering, I prefer to add all the ingredients to our onion first because it's a liquidy substance. So we can mix it very well, get it well combined before adding to our mince. If we add everything to our mince straight away, it's not going to combine very well. So what we're going to do now is just mix this well together. Now if you have a food processor, you can put it in there, but it's just a small batch, there's no point. Now you want to knead it for about a minute, it's a lot like kneading dough. Once you're done kneading, just bring it all back together almost like a large meatball, just in the center. Just like so. So let's move on to our stove now. Now just into a large pan on a medium to high heat, we're gonna add in about three tablespoons of oil. Once your oil is nice and hot, we're gonna place our mint straight into our pan in the middle and just push down. And you just wanna flatten it. So make sure you've got it evenly flattened. You don't want it lumpy on some sides. Just so it cooks at the same time. Now lower your heat to medium. Now just place a lid or just another pan on top. Being a chef, we just usually throw another pan on top. We never find the lids. Now you want to let that cook like that for about three to four minutes. So after about four minutes, we'll take the pan or the lid off. You can see it's starting to look very nice. Now what we're going to do now is just with a knife or just a spatula like this. You just want to cut into it like that. And just create rectangle shapes like that. And then we'll go across this way as well, just once. And put the lid back on. After another three minutes, we'll take the lid off again. Now judging by the colour and the firmness, one side is completely cooked. So we're going to flip each of these over. Do this carefully because you don't want to break them. So use a spatula and a pair of tongs like I am. Lid back on, and we're just going to cook this for another four to five minutes on that side, and then we can serve. Now, in the meantime, get your sides ready. In my case, I'm just going to serve this with some Persian saffron rice. Okay, so I've just turned the heat off. I'm just going to sprinkle the top of this with some red sumac, and let's serve. So, I've just got our saffron rice there. And we'll place our kebab straight on top. And just how beautiful does that look? So the beauty of this dish is if you don't have a grill, you can still enjoy a good Persian kebab. Now as for the inside, which I know you guys like to see, just look at that. Perfectly cooked. 
That's easy as that goes. You can enjoy this anytime. You don't need a grill for it. I hope you like that guys. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.